Final race of the day is the Trolley Open Unders National Chase, 50 grand up for grabs, four miles down the card, the Matador, Hattrick, C.K. Martin leading, Dressed Green, Jamie Shea, Emily O, Patrick Ogan, Window Rock, Peach, Winnie Jarrard, Tyson Tiger, Matt Cooper, Ironical Howell, Pontypool Racing, Green Island, Islander, Matt Cooper, Victorian Bounty, Jamie Hopkins, and Invictus Reigns, Derek into nine runners, M. Martin has moved on to five and joined third in the Trainers Championship. Five behind the leader, Derek Hinton, and one behind the second place, Alex Cherry. Well, no, I said not Alex Cherry. I don't know who it is now. <laughs> yes, it is Alex Cherry, of course it is. Uh, Matador and he joins James Shea on five. Matt Cooper is back and he's on four. So we have final race of week eleven and just two more weeks after this and Derek Indian has a lead of four in the China Championship here. Still he started off with three in front, he's four in front now. And it's Matador jumping the first fence, so he jumped it, he made a mistake. Yeah, in horses who probably would have run in the national but was kind of scared off by we running out way out of the handicap in the national matador leads by a length from Tayside tiger in second they jump in that one greenock highlander and window rock peach behind these comes a victorian and i have seen that She's gone into third Victoria Bounty. They jump in the ditch. Back marker, Ironical Owl. And Tayside Tigers in the front now. Just ahead of Matador on the inside and on the outside, Victoria Bounty. Then behind these can Window Rock Peach and Dressed Grain, Emily O. Greenock Islander, Invictus Reigns, and the back market chest, Ironical Howl. So the winners, all nine, I jumped that one safely, I think I'm swinging towards the straight now. And as they do so, it's Matador who's got back to the front, the grey is the only grey in the race. Trying to complete a straight hat trick for Martin Leiden. He's joined by TC Tiger. Invictus Reigns is on the outside in third now. Then Victoria Bounty back into fourth. Trash Grain. Window Rock Peach. Emily O. Greenock Islander. And Ironical Owls. I passed the lollipop. And that means there's three more circuits to run here in the Trolley Hope and Hunters National Chase. Egg. Keep away from the hurdle track by the cones. Uh, Matador comes towards it, jumps it well. Oh, we lost one there, and that one was Victoria Bounty. He made a mistake early on, and that's Jamie Hopkins' interest gone out of the race. <laughs> and I'll see Victoria Bounty and Andy Chase again pretty soon. Matador, two to be clear of Dress Green, the locally trained. Jess Green in second, Tayside Tiger in third, then comes Window Rock Peach. I suppose he delivers something. Matador jumps the ditch and jumps it by two. Window Rock Peach and the Victor Springs together. Then can Dress Green, Tayside Tiger, our article house moved from up the back and that moved two places. Emily O. And Greenock Islander who usually ends up towards the rear is now at the rear. He's a long way there to go yet, so also running 24 mph. So not a fast pace really. Oh, I nearly lost Rooney Jarrard's runner there, that was Window Rock Beach, he nearly went. But he all survived and the jockey made a good recovery. It's Matador by three lengths from Invictus Reigns. Jesse Green, Ironic Arnold, has made ground and has come in second. We usually don't see Ironic out of the final stage of the race as he's made 
He's made a really move today. I'm still with all the two tickets to run. I don't fancy my chances him staying there. He usually makes ground once in a race and then he, that's it. You don't see make it again. <laughs> He's such a donkey. Matador, two lengths clear. Vic Victor's rate. Ironical Harold, 12 years old now. Ironical probably his final season. Winterwalk beats him fourth. And then Dress Green, Brandy, Greenock Islander, Tay Tiger, and Emily O. Just one win in four seasons for Ironical Harold. And that was the Midland Grand National last season. So it's the Fulham Mall, so he might might sneak a win in this sort of race. Matador by two from Invictus Reigns in second. Jumping that one in third with Window Up Beach, but joined and passed by Ironical Harold. Then in fourth, Tayside Tiger, Emily O. Uh, Dress Green towards the rear now, Green Oak Island. Oh, Matador's gone, so the dream of catching Derek probably put on burner for another week for Martin. He's not going to get a foot in that trick. And the Victor's Reigns been left in front, but Ironical Harold is now in second. Window Walk Peach in third, Tayside Tiger, him Leo. With the top weight gone, Dress Green is left in the ice rolls in the field now of 108. And the bottom weight on 90 is, has already fallen. The only one left with any weight underneath 90 is 88, and that's Invictus Reigns, who's in second place at the moment, so he could fall into his lap today for Invictus Reigns. Um, it's Emily O, the Patrick Organ trained Irish runner. Jumps it from Eric Arnold in second. Invictus Reigns on the inside in for a Greenock Islander. Then behind these comes Window Walk Peach, Tayside Tiger, Dress Greens. But you wouldn't say much between these last seven that's, le that's left. There's seven and a half left to run. Everything's in with a chance. Emily O leads by a length. Ironic Howell was on the outside Greenock Islanders make going from the rear. Right there in fourth is Window Rock Peach and then comes Tayside Tiger, Dress Green and then Victor's Reigns. Heading downhill, jumping this one and we lost. The leader there, Emily O, she went and that was all lifts five on this guy. I think we lost another one as well. Yeah, Window Rock Peach also and shifted his file as well. So we're down to five, <coughs> and it's Green Rock Islander, Ironic Harold in second, then Tayside Tiger on the inside, the top weight left is Dress Green, and then behind these the bottom weight in Victor's Reigns, the five of them bunching up, four left to run. Anybody can win this, they are over the ditch, and now Green Rock Islander's drawn two lengths clear, Ironic Harold has been joined by Dress Green in second and third, Back in fourth is Tayside Tiger, back in fifth in Victor's Reign. It's swinging now, swinging towards the second last, and it's Green Oak Island, Jarrah Arnold, a first stayer. One pace horse is now trying to challenge him down towards his fence. He could be on the jumping, because here comes Dress Green on the outside, and these are going on from him. And he's Tayside Tiger, making go there, jumping that one, and these three going away now from Green Oak Island in Victor's Reign, but it's the drop weight. Dress Green has got the better of him, he's on by left now from Tayside Tiger in second Ironic Isles now two lengths way back in third so it's a track duel out front now between Dress Green and Tayside Tiger they jump the last and a good jump by James Hay Dress Green now leads by a length from the second Tayside Tiger trying to back, back on the inside up towards the line they go Dress Green my half a length and holding all the way up towards the line he's going to hold on from the second place Tayside it was clear by Ironic Isles in third Four for Squinock Islander and Invictus Reigns was fifth. James Shea with the winner then. And welcome winner for James. I'll take him up to six for Alex Cherry in the Dentist Trade and four Brian Derrick Hinton. I'll see you next week. Goodbye.